So this is the, uh, let me show you this x-ray right here, okay? Yeah. We, took, we showed you this in the clinic. I don't know if you saw it when you were in the no, clinic. No, I didn't. But uh, why don't you hold that for a second? Mm -hmm. You can hold that as well. So, so basically, <clears throat> did you have a... Did you have a scoliosis as a teenager or not that you were aware of? Not, they didn't get like it till last year. Last year. So the, so you just had a fairly mild curve probably as a teenager. Maybe it was 20, 30 ne degrees. Never detected. Never detected, never treated, right? You were never braced right. or whatever. But then as you got older, <clears throat> what happened in, <clears throat> where this curve was, <clears throat> these discs wore out gradually, okay? And as they did, it actually collapsed more and more, okay? So now you can see you're only, what, 50, right? Mm -hmm. And your curve is now 46 degrees, okay? But the big issue now is that these discs, because you were out of alignment, the discs wore out almost like your car being out of alignment. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now we can see we got bone rubbing on the bone here, this vertebra is sliding over, and in, in between here, that can actually pinch on the nerves as well. If we flip to the, uh, the side view, we can actually see you've developed a kyphosis too. You see that? Where your back is humped forward. Can you see that? Do you feel like you're getting Hump. more humped forward a little bit? It, 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 I feel like I'm humped into my back and I'm starting to twist. Twist, that's right. And, but here is another way we can see how well those discs are worn out at the bottom there. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we have to fix basically from here about the T5 level, not all the way up to the, your neck, but about here, and the, the hardware will come down to here, down to the pelvis, okay? And there'll be some two screws down here in the pelvis, and then screws at each level, and we're actually going to use that hardware to help straighten you up. Now when you say my pelvis, mm -hmm. is That's that going to be a, before you get my tailbone? Just, just about that same level as the tailbone, but off to the sides, like where your belt sits, it's like Here's your sacrum. Like this is where your belt tends to sit. Okay, so just below there, this is the pelvis bone, and there's this thing called the ilium, and that's where the bottom screws go down there, and that's going to support the foundation. Okay. Okay.